It's 517 talking about our weather here. Jesse Rick is in with more on that. Hi, Jess. Good morning, guys. We are starting off with some foggy conditions across parts of southeastern Wisconsin, especially in Kenosha County. Visibility right now below a quarter of a mile. Other places around Sheboygan, around Waukesha, Burlington, Lake Geneva are also looking at some lowered visibility because we have very light winds. Our temps are very close to the dew points, and, well, we certainly have plenty of moisture to talk about. We're already up over an inch and a quarter so much on the month as far as how much rain we're supposed to have already. And we're not even done with the month yet. We certainly can see a little bit of that fog or kind of hazy skies across our sky cam right now in Kenosha. Mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies to start off the day. I do expect partly cloudy skies through a good chunk of the day. We'll even see mostly sunny skies for a period of time. But I do expect a few showers and thunderstorms to develop later on this afternoon as a weak disturbance pushes on through. So let's take you through things on future forecasts. Again, a dry start to the day. It will still be a little bit sticky because we are still in the warm sector of this very slow low moving storm system that of course has brought us several rounds of moisture, although I really think that the moist tongue or the moisture plume is going to be down to our south and to our east throughout the day today. So any chances for rain showers really are not going to produce some heavy rainfall. But here comes some of that squeezing that trigger me mechanism along a very weak cold front that could spark off some showers and thunderstorms that could be on the stronger side as this disturbance rolls on through. So watching the chances for that, but then really that doesn't last for too long as we head into your Friday. The day starts off dry yet again. But yet again, we are still in this very active pattern. So that means more chances for a couple showers and even a couple thunderstorms in your forecast on Friday. I really am not expecting rain totals to be huge or substantial by any means Friday and into Saturday, but still going to be in this active pattern. Even as we get into Saturday, some cooler air pushes on in drier air, though. Humidity going to start to drop as we go into the weekend as well as the temps. So it's not going to be nearly as sticky as it's going to be throughout the day today. And that's why we do have a slight risk for strong to severe storms to develop. Really, I think the main threats for us would be large hail as well as some damaging wind. Not going to be a washout by any means. I think we'll have several dry hours, especially during the morning and early afternoon. 82 for our high today. Tonight, showers coming to an end. 63 for an overnight low. And then tomorrow, a little bit breezy, not as sticky. 78 degrees for our high. And the rest of your seven-day planner shows... 70s back in the forecast, more comfortable feel to the air, almost a little cool on Saturday and Sunday. And again, Caitlin, not a washout these days, just chances for pop-up showers during the day. All right, we can deal with